second. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible, what the argument is. So, 70 weeks are determined, allotted, cut off upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sin, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, etc. Everybody agrees that this is speaking of predicting Jesus' um, death, at least Jesus' death and when he's resurrected, which brings atonement for iniquity. Okay? That is salvation. Now, we know there's a decree, verse 25, know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem, restore and build unto the Messiah, the Prince shall be seven weeks and 62 weeks. Now, here's the key point. Whatever your timeline is, and there's only one that works, by the way, <clears throat> but I'm not going to get into that. We know this. This is something we can all agree on. After the three score and two weeks, Messiah is cut off. The, six, the 62 weeks after the 62 weeks. We know that there's seven weeks first, then 62. And that leaves one week. Verse 26. All as we know... Everyone agrees this is Jesus, Messiah being cut off and dying, not for himself, but, okay, like in Isaiah 53. But notice, after. In other words, after the 7 and 62 weeks, because the 62 is after the 7, after 69 weeks. It's not at the end of, it's not during, it is clearly and unmistakably after. Not on the tail end, not during, not sometime in the midst of, but after. You know what that means? That means this is saying that Jesus dies sometime after the 69 weeks have passed of the 70. If you say there's a time gap, that is, a time period in the 70th week has to start back up again. That means that when Jesus died, he died sometime after the 69 weeks. And if you say the 70th week is yet to start, that means Jesus died outside of the time period allotted to do these things. You know what that means? That means that Jesus did not die within the 70 weeks allotted, which means he does not fulfill the prophecy. And you know what that means? It means he's not the Messiah, if you believe that. Now, you might believe he is, but as what this means is your system is false. It means anything and everything that you have built doctrinally off of this is clearly false. I challenge you to, to um, be faithful to scripture. Jesus must fulfill the 70 week prophecy by dying within the 70 weeks allotted to do the things God said. Have you not read? It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. We can determine certain views as false because they do not fulfill the word of God. The 70th week is the one after the 69th week, which Jesus died in the midst of in 31 AD. If your interpretation of the Bible places Jesus outside of the time period allotted, you have a false belief.